Good morning, guys. Thanks for joining me for another What I Need a Day as a vegan on Slimming World. Today is Tuesday. If you haven't joined me before, my name's Leanne. I'm a vegan trying to lose weight using the Slimming World plan. That's Delta in the background. <laughs> and if you're coming back, then thank you so much for doing so. It, uh, like I said, it's Tuesday. It's just about eight o'clock and I'm literally running off to start work in the study. <laughs> Um, but I was just getting my breakfast ready for a bit later on for when I want it, so... Regulars will know that this is currently my favourite thing and it's a grilled cheese, uh, American style, except English with Marmite. <laughs> so uh, for my healthy extra B, I've got two pieces of whole grain bread, for, uh, whole, yeah, what's it called? Wholemeal bread from a small loaf. Uh, so that's my healthy extra B choice. I've used two teaspoons, all right, doubts. I've used two teaspoons of naturally vegan spread. This is my favorite vegan spread. It's, as far as I know, just like butter. So two teaspoons, that's three and a half sins. Then I've used 40 grams of Daya vegan cheese or Daya vegan cheese. So that's one of my healthy extra A's for the day. I've used a big old squeeze of Marmite there, which is sin free. And then we'll just top it with this one. Obviously I'm not putting this on just yet because I don't want breakfast right now. Listen to my little bird. <laughs> Delta. Oh, she's a bit grumpy in the mornings when I talk. Anyway, and then to actually kick off my day, I'm currently drinking some water, but I'm also just having one of my coffees with 100 mils of Alpro Almond Barista, and that is one sin. So three and a half for my cheese and Marmite grilled cheese, <laughs> and one for my coffee. It's now half past nine, and I've just quickly done my grilled cheese and Marmite. <laughs> Um, I always cut mine into three. I have to have odd numbers. <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm ever so slightly odd. <laughs> um, yeah, and I've finished my first litre of water and I'm just having another, well, I'm on my second bottle. I'm not having another coffee just yet. I am so excited that I have to tell you guys something. I, um, I wasn't gonna say anything unless it actually came today and something has just arrived that I ordered. Um, this is not a sponsored video and I paid for this with my own money. <laughs> um, but I'm hoping we may be able to get something going in the future. But anyway, I'm very excited to show you what I've just got in the post. Ba, ba, ba. JD Seasonings, a huge box. I'm so excited. Um, um, me and Mum have ordered the America's Collection plus a few more between us. So I have to get it open, I'm so excited. Okay. Oh, oh, I'm so excited. Oh, look, it's so good. Um, okay, so the we ordered extra ones. I know, Delts, it's very exciting. So if we take those out, then it'll be the America's collection, which is what we ordered. Delta, are you excited as well? <laughs> so basically guys if you're not aware JD seasonings they're basically just herb and spice uh, mixes but they're very popular in the slimming world so I thought I'd give them a try because um, they are literally just herbs and spices they're all obviously sin free so this is the America's collection um, it's very exciting I don't even know where to start. Um, obviously, me and mum have got one each, except for these two where you get one of each to try. So mum's having the spicy one and I'll have the normal one. So in theory, they should have, I know. In theory, they should have, oh, they've got a recipe on the back. Obviously, I will be replacing with vegan items, but the actual, here you go. So you can see it's just spice mixes but they've just got such good like reviews everywhere and I've just wanted to try them for Delta. Just cause the attention's not on you for two minutes. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to try these for so, so long and I just kept forgetting about them if I'm totally honest. So now I'm so glad that someone mentioned them the other day. <laughs> so we've got one of all of these each and then the extra ones we ordered was Mum went with spicy meatballs. I think she forgot that she had them in the other bit. <laughs> and I went for Spanish chicken, which might be what I make tonight when she comes over for dinner. Looks like it could well be what I make tonight because I've got some corn pieces. I've got sausage casserole, Bombay potatoes, 
Amatriciana, I assume that's how you say it. It's like a spicy pasta. Salt and pepper chips and peppermint risotto. Yum. And then obviously all of these guys. So I'm most excited about jambalaya because um, I've got a really nice, oh, doubt. <laughs> I've got a really nice jambalaya recipe that I use, but it is a very simple one. So it'll be really fun to try one with um, with different seasonings. So that looks pretty good. And like, yeah, at the end of the day, they are just spice mixes, but like, it's just so cool. Like what good presentation and stuff. I'm so excited. So, oh, what, what can I make first? <laughs> Okay, so given that I've got quite a lot to choose from and I also have, you know, a decent amount of ingredients in my house, what do you guys reckon I should make tonight? Obviously, I'm filming this video, so you won't, you'll, I'll have already done it. But let's have a poll in a minute. I'll choose like three or four different things and then I'll get you to say which one you think I'm gonna make and then we'll see who wins, yay. <laughs> yes. Hey, do you want attention? Is that the problem? Hello? Hello? Well, you were calling, weren't you? Yes, well, this is what happens. Oh, hi. Are you coming to see me? Delts. <laughs> Look, stop begging for Miller. I've turned, I've turned it upside down, I've turned it round. I know I have, haven't I? I know. Where's your matter? Do you want kisses? You want kisses? Come here then. No? Oh, you're a funny girl. Come here, let me kiss. Delta, let me kiss. You don't like the light, do you? The Sainsbury's man, it's okay, he's not scary. It's all right. Oh, what are you like? <laughs> She's been very um, noisy. I know, is it the light? Because I've got the light on you, because it's dark in here, because it's essentially winter now. <laughs> Oh, you little floof ball. Are you a floof ball? Oh God, I just love you so much. I love you so much. I do. Oh, they're so nice. Cleany beak. Good girl. The cleany beak. Yes. You're a funny girl. <laughs> All right, I'll leave you alone now. Oh no, maybe not. You want kisses? You want kisses? Yeah? Let me kiss, kiss. Let me kiss. You gonna give mommy kiss, kiss? Come here then. Good girl. Good girl. Thank you. Can I have another one? Good girl. Thank you. That was very nice. But you don't know how much you guys can see. Let <laughs> me kiss, kiss. Right guys, tonight I'm gonna make one of these recipe kits. Um, obviously I'll adapt the recipe to fit how I eat. Um, which one do you think I'm gonna make? Put your idea in the comments now and we'll see who wins. Um, the prize is smugness. <laughs> so which one do you guys reckon I'm gonna make tonight and then you'll find out later. Hola, it's lunch time and I have leftover pasta from last night so I'm going to make it into a pasta salad. For the protein I'm going to have smoked tofu, sugar. I love tofu so much, so much. Um, and I'm going to put some steak rub on it and I'm going to do it in the air fryer. This should be nice. Right, so it comes in this little plastic pot. It's actually quite robust. It has a lid, I guess, not all of them do, so I guess it's just the ones that are kind of meant to be, you know, that you might use over again, don't know. And um, I did see a thing online that said they have plain tops, but luckily these don't, they actually do say, because, you know, once you've used it, I mean, it's me, I'm gonna keep it in there, because, you know, I like things to be <laughs> complete. Anyway, here's my tofu cut into beautiful cubes, and we're gonna put quite a lot, like that much. It's maybe a third half <laughs> of the uh, the little steak grub pot and then I'm gonna massage it in just the same as I do really with any other spice mixes 
So I'm gonna do that and then pop it in the air fryer in just a moment. I feel like I used the perfect amount because there's like not really any scraps in the bowl. I didn't have to work that hard and they're all really nicely coated. So there you go, half a block of steak rub will happily coat a block, uh, sorry, half a pot of steak rub will happily coat half, uh, one whole block of tofu smoke. I'm just gonna shut up. <laughs> this may sound kind of dumb because I'm having pasta salad, but my pasta was really, really cold from the fridge. And like, I was not feeling that. So I just stuck it in the microwave for like a minute and a half, um, just to try and take the chill off it. <laughs> I mean, it just seems like a weird thing to do, but you know, obviously it's perfectly logical. <laughs> So I've chopped up, um, I'm literally just using the last of all my salad bits really. So I've got some little plum, uh, what are they called? Sunstream? Sundream, there we go. Plum vine tomatoes, but they're like little ones. They're lush. Um, so them, I've got some of my last few radishes, last bit of cucumber. I've got like half a yellow pepper. I would, well, I would normally use just the whole one, but I didn't want it to be like just pepper. <laughs> Um, and then some spinach, and then I've got some parsley that I chopped the other day and didn't use, so I'm gonna throw that in as well. Um, and then chop my tofu in when it's ready, really, and that's it. Very simple. I've just chopped some lemon juice and some salt and some pepper in here. It's really annoying because all the heavy stuff, which is the tomatoes and the radishes, are all falling to the bottom. <laughs> I want them on top. <laughs> Anyway, this should be all right. And then with the hot tofu mixed through with the steak rub, this would be a very nice and satisfying lunch. God, I love the air fryer. Look how perfect and crispy the tofu is. Um, yep, so I'm just gonna mix this together a little bit and then go eat. And read my book. I'm trying to make myself eat at my table now instead of at my desk because I feel like it's better to step away and like look at my read a book for uh, lunchtime rather than um, keep looking at the screen because I'm on the screen a lot in various forms during the day so yeah. Here we go. I think I said I put salt and pepper and lemon juice on it. If I didn't, then this is me telling you. I put salt, pepper and lemon juice on it. Um, and this is the book I'm reading. I'm nearly through it, but um, I'm very disappointed because I've got that much left and we're nowhere near the Titanic. It hasn't even mentioned the Titanic. So yeah, little bit disappointed. <laughs> I'm just having a strawberry raspberry. Go what? What do you even call them now? I'll probably go on. They're now Greek style. It's the same thing. Um, these are very, very nice and they're just one and a half cents, so I recommend. Um, I was going to say how many cents that puts me on, but I've forgotten. One and a half, plus my one coffee, so that's two and a half, plus my three and a half for breakfast, so that's six. Good net. Hey, it's now 3.30 ish and um i've got my afternoon inkling as well as energy dip so i'm just having my second coffee so that's one sin for 100 mils of alpro almond barista and then also for my little sugar hit because uh i do seem to still rely on that at the moment but today i'm i just really fancy some chocolate i think it was because because i keep my tea and my coffee in the same drawer as hot chocolate like i opened the drawer today and i just got this whiff of chocolate I was like, oh yeah, because I was going to have some party rings because you guys know that's kind of my <laughs> my habit that I've got into is having party rings. And the reason why is because they're like really sugary and you get quite, you know, you get six in there. So it feels like quite a substantial thing for four sins. It's really good. So um, anyway, that's why I normally have party rings because they just sort of fit all categories. But today I'm having, because I had that chocolate with, um, this is 25 grams of dark chocolate chips. And these are Aldi, Aldi ones. So I'm literally just gonna sit and munch these while I work. I totally forgot to say earlier, that steak rub on the tofu, oh my God, it was lovely. So definitely recommend that. Um, 
I tend to use the smoked tofu anyway because it's just got such a good flavour but it definitely enhanced that but that spice rub was really really nice and um, it had a little kick to it it was a bit salty like it was just really really nice so yeah definite success from the first thing I've tried hey it's now 3 30 ish and um, I've got my afternoon inkling as well as energy dip so I'm just having my second coffee so that's one sin for 100 mils of Alpro almond barista and then also for my little sugar hit because uh, I do seem to still rely on that at the moment but today I'm I just really fancy some chocolate I think it was because because I keep my tea and my coffee in the same drawer as hot chocolate like I opened the drawer today and I just got this whiff of chocolate I was like oh yeah because I was gonna have some party rings because you guys know that's kind of my <laughs> my habit that I've got into is having party rings and the reason why is because they're like really sugary and you get quite you know you get six in there so it feels like quite a substantial thing for four sins it's really good so um anyway that's why i normally have party ring because they just sort of fit all categories but today i'm having because i had that chocolate with um this is 25 grams of dark chocolate chips and these are aldi aldi ones so i'm literally just going to sit and munch these while i work I totally forgot to say earlier, that steak rub on the tofu, oh my God, it was lovely. So definitely recommend that. Um, I tend to use the smoked tofu anyway because it's just got such a good flavor, but it definitely enhanced that. But that spice rub was really, really nice. Um, it had a little kick to it. It was a bit salty. Like it was just really, really nice. So yeah, definite success from the first thing I've tried. Right then, if you guessed Spanish chicken for dinner, then you were right. If you guessed the others, I don't blame you because they all sound lush. So, um, just for ease, I'm doing Spanish chicken today. Delts is so chatty. <laughs> Are you done? No. Okay then, so Spanish chicken. So these come in these little pots like this. And then you just open up. All right, doubts. Oh, God. Oh, my God, I made a right old mess. Right. And then you can just open it up and then see the recipe. So all you need, it's actually very simple, is just an onion. It said half a red pepper, but I want more peppers than that. And also half red pepper seems like virtually nothing. So I've gone with a whole red, a whole orange and half a yellow left over from lunch. Um, instead, of, instead of four chicken breasts, I'm using two bags of corn pieces. I'm expecting to get like, well, I don't know, do I need two bags or one? I don't know, we'll see. Uh, you need a tin of tomatoes. Doubts. Doubts her. Good girl. You need a tin of tomatoes, some fry light <laughs> and a stock cube. And that's literally it. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna do a bit of prep ahead of time. So while the onion's starting, I just opened this and it smells divine. Um, obviously it smells quite strongly of rosemary. You can see rosemary's on top there, but oh, there's something very deeply savory and a tiny bit smoky maybe. I don't know, what's in this one? Paprika, okay. Nice. Oh, I'm very excited. I hope this is nice. I haven't, I've only used these corn pieces, I don't know, maybe once or twice before, and certainly not for the last few years. So, well, since they came out, so I would have used them at the very beginning. Um, so I hope they're really nice. I've got a feeling that they're only okay, <laughs> but they may have improved since I've last tried them. The um, problem is that we're kind of spoiled for choice with all the um, new stuff that's coming out, like the, this isn't chicken, that stuff is so, so good. And um, I also like the Vivera uh, chicken pieces, like chicken style, whatever, you know what I mean? It's plant-based, it's fine. Um, so yeah, I've got a feeling these corn ones are gonna be a bit of a disappointment, but, they are a bit cheaper and more easily accessible than the others. So um, I'm trying to do it with, you know, what what I have available. Also, these are sin free. 
so that's good. Um, the Vivera chicken pieces are also <laughs> sin free. Uh, and the, I think this isn't chicken, salt and pepper pieces are maybe half a sin for the pack, something like that. They're very, very low anyway. Okay, the onions um, were in for a few minutes, then I just added the peppers, giving it a really good stir. Left them on a couple of minutes, and now I'm gonna put in the um, corn pieces. I don't know why it's amusing me so much that they're like completely <laughs> rectangular. It's just funny, I guess, after, um, yeah, because I've not seen them for a while. It just seems very strange compared to all the other sort of faux meat products out there that sort of try and look like meat which you know i'm of neutral opinion on um but <laughs> it's just quite amusing that these are just like nope <laughs> we are square <laughs> right i just reread the recipe and um whilst it does say for chicken breasts to do it till they're browned i read the corn packet and it says that actually you just need to add it to the sauce and cook for 12 minutes which is gonna do more than that in the oven. So I'm just gonna turn it off here because I don't want them to sort of fall apart, which I've got a funny feeling they might do. So um, yeah, that's that for that mixture. And then it says to do a tin of chopped tomatoes, but blitz it up. And I can't really be bothered to do that. <laughs> so I'm not gonna bother. <laughs> what a rebel. Right, so this is my, I love this dish, my big Pyrex one. They're so good. Um, Add on the tin tomatoes. Okay. <laughs> um, and then it says the full pot of the Spanish chicken mix. Oh, it smells really, really nice actually. And then, what else do we do? And then, oh, Worcestershire sauce. I haven't got any Worcestershire sauce. It's not vegan, it's got anchovies in it. Um, okay, and then veg stock. How much veg stock? 400 mils, right. So I have to boil the kettle. And then for, instead of Worcestershire sauce, I quite often use this, mushroom ketchup. So I'm gonna use that instead. This is the mushroom ketchup going on. If you have vegan Worcester sauce, I know it, it can be bought. I've never seen it in the wild. So um, yeah, if you have some, go for it. And then, quick and dirty way of measuring 400 mils. Oops, sorry. Um, I've put my stock cube in the can. Just bear in mind that the can will get hot. <laughs> so don't do a me and pick it up with bare hands. So once the stock cube is dissolved and obviously it'll get any tomato residue, then you can just pour it in. Wishing I'd read it because it actually then says mix well. So I wouldn't have bothered trying to get it all <laughs> evenly distributed. So I'm gonna give it a good mix. And then you just stick it in the oven covered for 30 minutes. It seems very simple. <laughs> So interestingly, I was just putting uh, tonight's dinner in the app and I found that the um, Gia Watkins mushroom ketchup that I use is actually half a sin for three tablespoons. So I've used one tablespoon in a dish that should have at least four portions in it. So it's per portion a quarter of a third of half a sin. So I'm not including it. <laughs> okay, so everything is now cooked. It's obviously much later on. It's now 10 to seven. Um, and these potatoes, um, my phone battery died earlier <laughs> when I was doing them, so I can actually show you, but this is using the chip and wedge seasoning and they're just new potatoes with fry light on them. And then that seasoning, I used half the pot for this amount. And then obviously we've got our Spanish chicken <laughs> and we've also done some steamed um ten stem broccoli and green beans to have with it and mum is salivating so i'm gonna dish up I wasn't joking. <laughs> no no you have it i was joking <laughs> so we're just fighting over a tea towel <laughs> um cool so here's our dinner i've just made mine look uh, a little more um juicy <laughs> juicy <laughs> 
for the uh, picture because otherwise it was just all like this. So uh, yeah, I just sort of shoved it to the side. We actually have the same amount, believe it or not. It's just the difference in how it is plated. Yes, you can take yours. <laughs> so <laughs> um, there we go. Spanish chicken with steamed ten stem, fine beans, little roast new potatoes with the chip and wedge seasoning on. And uh, yeah, we're going to go eat. So we finished our dinner. Mum, what did you think? And it was absolutely delicious. And so did I. The only downside, as predicted, was those corn pieces. They weren't the best texture, were they? Yeah. No. <laughs> um, but that's fine. It's not something I normally buy. I tried it again. You know, I haven't tried it for a while. So it's best um, good to try these things. So next time I will use Vivera chicken or I might even do like chickpeas sorry about the smoke alarm it's a non-replaceable battery and we don't know what to do with it um <laughs> and um what else yeah so i might try it with chickpeas could use vera chicken could use the other one that i've forgotten the make of oh this isn't chicken like i said earlier um or even tofu to be honest and uh mum would you like to say what we're having for dessert <laughs> sorry to interrupt you there <laughs> we're having alpro chocolate dark chocolate Chocolate yogurty thing. Yes. <laughs> Which is really nice. Sorry, I'm enjoying it. And how many sins is it? Can you remember what I said? Five and a half? Yes, five and a half sins. So we're both having one of these. Obviously, Mum's not on Slimming World. Look at her, she's teeny. But um, <laughs> but she's learning along with me. <laughs> I enjoy it just as much. And she enjoys it just as much. There you go. So dinner was actually completely sin free, so that was a bonus. Anyway, we're gonna go enjoy our yogurts and carry on watching once upon a time. Well, today's video is turning into quite a long one, so I do apologise. If you're still with me, then thank you. Uh, I just wanted to quickly show you um, a couple of things that um, I got mum to pick up for me today, because as of today, these are back in Aldi, and it's the Sweet Freedom Caramel and Vanilla Syrups. Um, Sweet Freedom is all vegan, the range, and um, they're really low calorie. They're made of like fruit extract. I don't know, but they do sweet stuff. They do chock shot the little chop pot things. Um, a lot of their stuff's really nice. So I thought, I haven't tried these two before, so I'm actually gonna give them the teeniest little test. In fact, let's do it now. So, you probably can't see me too well. I'm just gonna lean down. Okay, let's go with the vanilla one. And it's probably got a, will it come out? Oh yeah. Tiniest amount. I can't. Uh, is there something stopping it? Yes. <laughs> A not very effective seal. Mm. Right. Okay. In fact, let's just. It's like, it is vanilla-y. It's also vaguely fruity. This is interesting. Um, just dispose of that one. And then, oh God, I'm covered. Close, there we go, right. I'm there guys, I'm there, okay. Close. I think it is closed. Right, let's go with this one. This is the caramel one. Whoa! Oh, it smells like. It smells like. Creme brulee. No, creme caramels. You know that bottom layer on a creme caramel? The liquid bit? It smells like that. Ooh. Oh, this one's sweet. Wow. Mm. That's good though, actually. That one's got good flavour. Okay, well there you go. I have tried both of these. I'm not having them officially today because I want to use my sins for um, one of my sea salt chocolate bars. But 
I'm glad I've got these. I'm going to try them in something tomorrow. I don't know what. Coffee? Oat porridge? Who knows? We'll find out tomorrow. Hey, last segment of the day. So I'm uh, having my... Why do I never pick these things up before talking to you? Uh, very unoriginal because <laughs> I have this every day while I have them. But uh, Moseroth Dark Chocolate Sea Salt Bar. Six and a half tins. That's going to put me on exactly 25. So that's cool. And I'm having a cup of after dinner tea. Again, had one after tea. I don't know if I showed. I think I did. And then later on, I'll have a cup of nighttime tea. I won't be eating any else today. I'm nice and full from my dinner. I'm just going to have my little chocolate bar. And then that noise is Delta, by the way. She's like running around on her perch. Um, <laughs> So yes, uh, that's everything I'm gonna have. Um, today's video is really long, I'm really sorry. So I'll, um, I'll just see you tomorrow, guys. <laughs> okay, <laughs> bye.